We are gonna prep some breakfast for the week and we're gonna take a little inspiration from the cookbook, Honest Pretzels by Molly, Kat <clears throat> Molly Katzen. This is a great book um, for young chefs. It has not only uh, written directions, but it also has step-by-step -step picture decor uh, decorations, <laughs> instructions too. So we are gonna work a little bit out of the breakfast chapter, and then because this is what I always do, I do a rift on things, um, I'm gonna show you some different things. So we're gonna do a breakfast casserole, we're gonna do some corn muffins, and we are going to do some breakfast burritos. Some of this is gonna go in the refrigerator, some of it's going to go in the freezer, Ooh, and we're gonna do the corn muffins from Honest Pretzels also. So let's get going. We're gonna prep some of our ingredients to be working for us while we're working on other things. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have on the stove, I have some sausage uh, browning up. I've washed some potatoes. These are golden uh, potatoes yellow gold potatoes so we're gonna leave the skin on because the skin is um, so thin and we are just going to cut these up in chunks we are going to get them on or we're gonna get them ready um, to go on a pan but actually before I do that I on my baking pan I'm gonna get some baking cooking in the oven because then we can use that bacon grease to cook these potatoes so when I have to cook large quantities of bacon, I like to do it in the oven. So I am simply going to lay some pieces out on the baking pan, get this in the oven, and then while this is cooking, I can finish chopping up my potatoes. When the bacon comes out, I'll take that off and then we'll use some of the grease to roast our potatoes. Uh, let's see. Let me just go ahead and use all of this. Might as well because we can use bacon for other things throughout the week including breakfast sandwiches if we wanted to. Alright, I'm going to clean my hands and get this in the oven. So the bacon is now out of the oven, so I'm gonna transfer it onto a paper lined plate. And you can see that there's a lot of grease that has accumulated on the pan. And we're gonna use this grease to help grease and cook some of our other ingredients. So here I'm gonna pour a little bit into this nine by 13 pan. This is gonna be for the breakfast casserole. And then the potatoes are going to go into the rest of it with some salt and pepper. I'm just gonna do salt and pepper today, but sometimes I like to add other seasons. So the bacon came out of the oven, took that off, put it on some paper towel lined uh, plate so that that can cool and the extra grease can drip off. Then I took the grease that we that accumulated on the pan. I put a little bit in a 13 by nine pan that we're gonna use for the breakfast casserole in a little bit. And then the rest of that grease, I uh, tossed the potatoes with. And that now, put some salt and pepper in that, and that is in the oven cooking. So while that is cooking, we are going to work on the corn muffin recipe inside Molly Katzen's uh, book for uh, young chefs ages eight and up called Honest Pretzels. So in this bowl, I have mixed together some cornmeal, some flour, some brown sugar, regular sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And now we're gonna mix our wet ingredients. It calls for a cup of yogurt. I am using Greek yogurt. And to that, we're gonna add three tablespoons of melted butter and one egg. And then we are going to whisk that together and add it to a well that we created inside our dry ingredients and just mix that all together. Then we are going to put it into our muffin tin that I have sprayed with avocado oil. 
and that will be ready to go into the oven as soon as the potatoes come out of the oven. So we are making progress. Up next, after these go into the oven, we are going to chop up some veggies to cook in the pan that we cooked our sausage in. And those veggies will be used to make our mixture for our breakfast burritos. So we pretty much have this incorporated. The other recipe that we're gonna do out of honest pretzels is just the basic recipe for making scrambled eggs. And one of the add-ins that they suggest is mixing in pesto. And I have some homemade Thai basil pesto, so we're gonna add that. So, mix these together. So now we're going to prep some veggies. I usually just use whatever veggies I have um, in the refrigerator that need to be used up. So in today's case, and also thinking about since I'm going to use that Thai basil, what flavors would go well with the Thai basil pesto, um, which is kind of more of a Asian kind of flair. So we're going to do, um, some green pepper, some onion, and some a small zucchini that I have. And we're gonna cook this in the pan that we cooked the sausage in. The sausage that I had was a pork sausage with garlic. Um, so that will be a wonderful additional flavor to that. Um, there was not a lot of fat in that pan. If I had some extra bacon grease, I could do that. Um, but I don't, it's all being utilized right now. Actually, I have some in the freezer, so I could use that, um, or I might just use a little avocado oil. And we're gonna saute these veggies, and then we'll be almost ready to <clears throat> assemble our burritos. We just need to shred some cheese. Um, and we're also going to need cheese for the breakfast casserole. So we will shred some, I'm gonna use uh, sharp cheddar cheese today for that. Um, Monterey would be good also in either, I've used those in the breakfast casserole and also the breakfast burritos before. I've used a smoked Gouda in the breakfast burritos, which is also yummy. Basically, you can't go wrong with any kind of cheese. All right, now we just need to do an onion. It's the arm workout. I could get out the food processor, but we're just gonna go for the arm workout today. So Mally, the way I was introduced to Molly Katzen as far as cookbooks, was, I believe it was our first cookbook for children, was called Pretend Soup. And it is set up the same way as Honest Pretzels as far as the step-by-step -step numbered directions with the pictures. Um, and that one is geared for cooking with preschoolers, which it can be challenging to find cookbooks that are specifically geared and have picture uh, illustrations to, or step-by-step -step pictured illustrations to walk you through cooking with preschoolers. Um, so that has always been a favorite. We've made lots of recipes when my kids were younger out of pretend soup. And since then, um, she's come out with the Honest Pretzels. I believe there's a third book too. Um, so one of the things that I like is that there are real ingredients used it's healthy food. Um, there's a dessert section, um, but they're not overly sweet sweet. So the dessert section is, um, Honest Pretzels has the, chapter one is breakfast specials. Chapter two is soup, sandwiches, salads for lunch and dinner. Chapter three is main and side dishes and helping with the dinner for real. Things like lasagna, torn tor corn, tortilla, casserole, and baby carrots and gentle sauce. Then chapter four is desserts and a few baked things. So ye basic yeasted dough, making dinner rolls, making pretzels, honest pretzels, 
cinnamon sweet sticky buns, <laughs> peanut butter doodads. And then chapter five is snacks and a few special drinks. So how to make homemade tortilla chips and guacamole, um, how to make hip bean dip, and then uh, let's see, what's one of the drinks? Purple Passion Power Shake, sounds yummy. And then there are about six other healthy snack ideas from trail mix to sorbet to fruit pops um, to vegetable dips. So I really appreciate the emphasis on healthy but fun and yummy um, in her books for kids. So I highly suggest checking that one out or if you have younger kids and are working um, with preschoolers in the kitchen, definitely check out Pretend Soup. All right, our cheese is about there. We're gonna use a good chunk of it in the breakfast casserole. As soon as I'm done shredding this, we are gonna shred some potatoes to put into our breakfast casserole. So the bottom layer of our breakfast casserole, we're gonna take that nine by 13 pan. We have put some bacon grease in it that will help those potatoes crisp up. We're gonna mix a little cheese with the shredded potatoes and then we'll put more cheese on the top. All right, potatoes are out of the oven. We are gonna give them a good scrape. Yummer, yummer, yummers. And into the oven are going to go our corn muffins for 20 minutes at 375. While those are cooking, our timer. Um, in this pan, this is our zucchini and green pepper and onion. Just cooking that again in that pan that had the sausage in it. A little avocado oil, this is about done. And then we're gonna add this over to our bowl that has our sausage and our cheese in it. When those potatoes cool a little bit too, we'll add those two to this. And then we're ready to stuff our burritos. And now I am going to shred up potatoes for our breakfast casserole. All right, we've arrived at the time to assemble our breakfast casserole. Whoops. I used the same shredder that I shredded the cheese in. I didn't bother to clean it off because cheese is also going into this breakfast casserole. A little bit is here. So these are the shredded golden potatoes. I left the skin on uh, because it's so thin. It won't be a problem. And now that I'm putting these in here, they feel pretty wet, but I don't really think I'm too concerned with that. I could pat them dry, but I think it's gonna be okay. And to this, I'm going to wipe my hands. We are going to salt and pepper them, and then we're gonna mix in a little cheese to this bottom layer. Um, Pretty sure I said I already greased the pan with some of that leftover bacon grease that we cooked the bacon in. Salt and pepper this well. I didn't pat this down real tight because I want we're gonna pour a kind of a custardy mixture over the top of it, and I kind of want it to go all the way through. So I'm gonna add oh about a cup of cheese here. And then I'll just kind of lightly toss this with the potatoes and the salt and pepper. And then kind of re-spread it out again, not really packing it down, but just kind of getting it in a, an even layer. So my thought with this breakfast casserole, I've made lots of variations of this, is that we would go for kind of a twice baked potato um, taste. So to this, we are going to now add some chopped green onions. I just had three in my refrigerator, so that is what we are going with. And then we are gonna crumple some bacon over the top of this next. And the last thing we're going to do, no, well not the last thing, but the next thing we'll do is we're gonna beat four eggs with a cup of milk or half and half. We'll pour that over the top and sprinkle on the remaining cheese. And then this is ready to go in the oven. It will take about um, 
think I'll just break these easier than cutting today. Uh, it will take about 40 minutes to cook at uh, 350. And then you wanna let it sit for just a little bit before cutting into it. We really like uh, making this and having it, like we might make it on a Sunday and have it warm that morning and then put the leftovers in the refrigerator and the leftovers slice up really nicely and just warm those up in the microwave. So we get several breakfasts out of it. <clears throat> Could serve it with the corn muffins that we have in the oven or with some toast or just on its own. My husband likes to put some hot sauce or some sriracha on top of it when it comes out. My husband always really likes a lot of meat, so we will add another piece of bacon here. This one got a little, little crunchy. All right, so we're ready for the custard part. Again, it's four eggs beat up with a cup of milk, poured on the top, a little more cheese, into the oven it goes for 40 minutes at about 350. So from the Anna's Pretzels cookbook, we're doing the eggs here mixed in with the pesto. And then I took those eggs, mixed it in with our other ingredients for our breakfast burritos. And here we are stuffing them. Not pretty, but it does. And then I wrapped each one in plastic wrap and put it in a Ziploc bag. And here are how our corn muffins turned out.